All right, hello YouTube. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a real quick tip. Um, I'm gonna try and make this a fast video. Um, you'll be able to stop watching before the end of the video if you don't actually care about the math involved here. You just want to see, or just want to be able to use the quick tip. Um, so the the tip relates to finding um, some arbitrary number of uh, points around the outside of a circle. So you know, dividing a circle in half is easy enough or in quarters, but if you need to find like nine points, even points around the outside uh, circumference of, of a circle, um, that can get to be a little bit tricky. You can do it with a protractor, you can do it with a compass. Um, I usually do it with the compass, just, you know, guesstimating and then making small adjustments until I get it right. Not a great way to do it. Uh, very error prone. Uh, plus, getting that last little bit of precision is a real pain. Doing it the protractor, again, it's kind of a pain. It takes a little while. Um, and there's a high uh, error rate only in that there's a stacking tolerance issue. Okay, so like if, you, if you're, if you know, some very small percentage off here, by the time you make, you know, nine uh, angle, um, you know, lines around the outside of the uh, circle here, you're going to end up with potentially nine times the error uh, that you started with. So what I'm going to show you as a way to do it the first time, every single time, incredibly accurately, um, just with a set of calipers and a compass. You can do it without calipers. Um, if you have a calculator that will spit out fractionals, you can do it with a ruler. Um, but uh, I recommend you use cal calipers. Um, it's going to be far more accurate. If you do need a calculator that will spit out fractional values, um, I recommend Power One SL. It's a... Uh, a scientific calculator program for your smartphone. Um, it's available for free in the Android and Apple Store. But on to the actual trick. Um, so the other day I was watching a video by uh, Jack Howling and he was measuring around a circle to make a, uh, a Lazy Susan and he needed to divide it by five and he just kind of threw this number out, uh, 1.18. Um, and he multiplied uh, the radius of the circle uh, by 1.18 um, set his, um, or you know, set his calipers, um, and subsequently set his uh, compass, and then measured around, and it was bang on dead accurate uh, first time, um, no problem. He didn't explain how he did it though, so that's what I'm about to do. Um, I posted the in the comments how he did it as well, uh, because his comments uh, were just flooded with people asking about that 1.18 value and where it came from and how he got it. Um, it's actually just a little bit of really simple, um, like high school geometry. Um, so uh, let's jump right in. Um, I'm just going to just pick you, you pick any number you want. The, the formula is going to work all the time, and I'm going to show you the formula really fast. And don't let this scare you off because you don't need this. I've pre-calculated all of the uh, multipliers for you from like three to twenty, and they'll be in the comments below. Um, so you never actually have to type this, provided you're dividing by, you know, an even number, you know, like 3, 20, you know, whatever, if you want. Um, a, a number I didn't provide, then that's where the formula will come in. <clears throat> so what you really need to know is sine of however many degrees you want to cover divided by 2 times 2, okay? And degrees is just going to be 360 divided by however many slices you want to make the, the circle cut up into, okay? So for our example here, we're going to use 7. Um, I'm going to wedge my calculator a little bit so hopefully the glare doesn't uh, come off the, my overhead light here. So in the event um, that we want to divide um, this circle, and this is a four inch circle, so two inch radius, four inch diameter. Um, if we want to divide this into seven, again, without a protractor, or without making a bunch of fiddly adjustments with a uh, compass, um, the easiest way to do it is to take this formula um, to get a multiplier. So, and again, you don't have to do this. You'll be able to just start with the multiplier if you just look in the comments. But if you need to figure it out for yourself, um, for any particular value, this is how you'll be able to do it. So I'll go through the whole process uh, doing doing the math, which again, you won't have to do, but I'm going to do with the math and just so you can see how fast it is to actually do it, okay? So first we need to find our degrees, so 360 uh, divided by 7, and now we get into our formula, 
Okay, so 51.428, that's our degrees. Divided by 2, takes care of that. The sine, 0.43388, yada, 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 times 2. Okay, that's our multiplier. So our multiplier for 7 is going to be 0.867. Yada yada yada. We'll just call that eight. In fact, I'm just going to store that value on my calculator. Now we take our radius. In this case, it's a two, and we're going to multiply it by a recalled value, which is going to give us um, a value of um, one point seven three five five, um, etc. So this is what we need to set our calipers to. Well, really, this is what we need to set our compass to. Um, we're going to use our calipers to set our compass just because it's the most accurate way to do it, at least the most accurate way I have. Really spending more time than I need to on this. Um, generally, in geometry, you only go to the second decimal place, and that's close enough. All right, and we will set our compass using our caliper value, our caliper distance. All right, so we're going to use, this is our starting point. And I'm not going to make marks on this pass, I'm just going to walk the circle. Um, so we're just going to go one, two, Three, four, five, six, and now I'll, I'll zoom this in so you can see really close. Seven. Okay, it's literally dead on. Okay, it's right on the mark. Okay, you're not going to ask for a a, a a a more precise way of doing this. Okay, and it'll work with any value just using this formula. So if you want to uh, stick around and see kind of what this math is actually doing, um, as opposed to just using the values out of the comments, um, by all means, uh, stick around. And really quickly, I'll show you what, what's actually happening here. So let's draw a mark here. Um, and... Let's measure this out. Or not measure this, but. So ultimately what we're after, of course, is this distance, right? We want the straight line distance between two points on the outer circumference of a circle. Now the easiest way to get that, at least the easiest way I know of, and there may be an easier way, I'm no mathematician. Is to turn this angle, which in this case, you know, this is the entire span that we're trying to get. Um, you know, this is our 360 divided by 7. That's, that's how we're getting this angle. Uh, is simply to divide it in half. Divide the, the degrees in half. And that's going to turn this into a right triangle. Or rather, two right triangles. Okay. Now that we have a right triangle, we can just use our regular, um, you know, sine function on our calculator. So here we have our hypotenuse. We have our adjacent and we have our opposite. Um, the We don't need this at all right now. Uh, the sine is literally just the opposite angle, the distance here, divided by uh, the hypotenuse. Um, we have a button for that on any scientific calculator called sine, S-I-N. Um, so in this case, so we're dividing this in half here. That's this divided by 2, so degrees divided by 2. That's turning this into the two right triangles. We're using the sine function, which is this divided by this, which is going to give us a ratio, okay? That's going to tell us um, what percentage of this line this line is, okay? Then we're, so that's our sine function. Then we need to double it, multiply it by 2 to get from here all the way to here, so we're not just getting the distance um, to here. And that's it. That's all the math. 
If you ever need to figure this out for a value that's not provided in the comments, that's all you need to do, and that's how it works and why it works. Um, so I hope you like this. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you're one of my existing subscribers or not one of my existing subscribers, um, there are very few of you right now, um, let me know if you actually like these kind of tips and trick videos. Um, normally, you know, lately at least I've been doing a lot of build videos um, instead of like reviews and things like that. Um, so uh, let me know if uh, you want to see more of this kind of stuff in the future. I've got loads of them, um, not necessarily math based, but just tips and tricks around the shop. Um, and uh, I'll talk to you later and I'll uh, bring you some more videos soon.